Greetings to all my regular viewers. I think you all love an interesting plot, so here it is. Imagine a land based on ancient Eastern mythology. Experience a journey through an open and endless world, meeting many fantastical monsters, gods, and demons from various legends along the way. By the way, the game's based on blockchain technology, applied only to specific areas that make sense, to make the gameplay experience even more enjoyable. The game's called Oath of Peak. Let me tell you briefly about how the game works, and how great gameplay can also translate to making some money from a game that's totally free to play. So, Oath of Peak is a completely free to play MMORPG that challenges the current state of GameFi by requiring zero upfront cost from gamers to fully experience the adventure. The adventure takes off in an ancient, fantastical open world exploration woven with myths and legends. You take on the role of an adventurer, picking from one of five spirit bender classes, ready to explore visually stunning, fully hand-drawn 3D rendered landscapes, where you can capture spirit beasts, battle monsters, and journey with other like-minded adventurers. The game is truly mesmerizing in terms of graphics. Every single detail was hand-drawn, to bring out the aesthetics and gorgeously rendered landscapes of each environment in the game. In Oath of Peak, you can choose whether to play alone or make new friends by joining a guild, or creating your own and becoming the leader. In the game, you can also choose to run solo campaigns or join an adventure with a team. So don't forget, that it's much more fun and exciting to experience a game together, so I strongly recommend that you join a team. Aside from combat elements, there are a ton of other activities in the open world that you can take part in. For example, you can furnish your home on Mount Huangming, or you can adventure with friends, maybe even get married, and relax by fishing for rare aquatic creatures. The game features a marketplace too, so you can exchange gear, spirit beasts, crafted items, and other collectibles with users. Combined with the open NFT trading platform, players can make real profits. You may be asking how this is possible, and I'll tell you, that you can collect and breed your spirit animals to create unique companions, which in turn you can exchange or take with you on your adventure. But I'll tell you about that a little later, but for now I'll continue to tell you what other features are available here. Well, for now, know that in your adventures, you'll encounter monsters called spirit beasts, which you can seal, to turn into your companions. Once they're on your team, you can rely on them to help you during combat, train your spirit beasts to level them up, send them on quests to earn shells, and breed them to make even more powerful spirit beasts. The social systems in Oath of Peak include peer, team, and guild systems. Through these arrangements, players are encouraged to explore the world and complete tasks with their friends. You can join a guild to meet new friends, and work together as you make the journey across the Omni-Spirit Realm. Each guild has its own designated guild territory, where rewards can be earned by participating in events exclusive to the guild itself. The company behind this fantastic game is none other than Yiha Games, this is Bybit's GameFi platform, which has been making a lot of waves and splashes recently, in both the traditional and crypto space. Maybe it's got to do with the team's vision, since they don't believe in releasing incomplete experiences. In fact, they believe that the experience comes before anything else, and one thing I liked about them is that they're also gamers, so they don't believe in testing their games with other gamers' funds. It's comforting to know that the game's assets will have their value backed by an amazing gameplay experience. See, the problem with GameFi so far has been that these GameFi projects are selling assets to gamers and investors before the game's even finished. Then they never complete the game, or the game turns out to not be very fun. This leaves the value of the game's digital assets to be worthless, and players calling the game a scam. Let's take a popular MMORPG example like World of Warcraft. Do we really think the game's equipment and mounts have any value, if players didn't actually have fun playing it? That's why Yeeha Games spent more than $20 million on the core gameplay alone, to make sure they had a game that's worth playing. Well, now let's talk about the game's tokenomics. 
The base currency, used throughout Oath of Peak, is shells. As is standard in MMORPGs, most of the shells are generated by players engaging in various activities like looting, drops, selling items, quest rewards, and so on. Shells can be used to purchase gear, upgrades, crafting materials, and resources, and most other purchasable items in the game. Shells can also be sold on the shells market and spent on the player's progression, like in skill upgrades, guild training, title upgrades, equipment enchantments, equipment cleansing, and manifestation recruitment. The game will use two fixed supply tokens to support gameplay mechanics and the ecosystem. The first token is called Peak Tokens, or PKTK. And what's really cool is that you can use the shells you've earned in-game by investing your time into the experience and trade them for PKTK tokens. Then you can take these PKTK tokens and go swap them for stable coins like USDT on any decentralized exchanges that supports Polygon, like Uniswap. The second token is called Oath, and it's a governance token for the Oath of Peak Treasury, which you can trade just like any other cryptocurrency. The purpose of this token is to help the game's ecosystem sustain their prices during periods of market volatility. And in my opinion, this is just an awesome opportunity. But what's really cool about Oath of Peak is that its blockchain elements are actually optional. Sure, simply by playing, you can earn shells, which you can exchange for PKTK tokens, which you can then go sell on the secondary market for fiat money. But where the real fun in Oath of Peak begins is with the NFTs. The NFTs in the game are primordial spirit beasts, called PSBs for short. There are 10,000 Genesis PSBs in total, of which 5,000 are Huadou NFTs, and the remaining 5,000 are Qufang NFTs. Unlike the standard spirit beasts found roaming about in the game, Genesis primordial spirit beasts can only be acquired through pre-sale mints or on the secondary market. Also, compared to the standard spirit beasts, PSBs have an incredible number of powerful competitive advantages. You can even transform into your PSB in battle. For example, aside from their visual differences, Genesis PSBs start with a base intelligence of 199. And they can undergo breeding to spawn second gen PSB NFTs, offspring bred this way have a base intelligence of at least 200, which means they'll be either of mythic or divine rank. Once you breed these, you can use them in combat for an easier time getting loot, you can trade them, or you can sell them for a profit on the secondary market. And owning a PSB does provide a certain level of clout visually both in the game and online, since other players will definitely notice your unique skin, your specially colored and highlighted name in group chats, and so on. By the way, if you don't feel like splurging, there's a great way you can get a PSB NFT for free. A free mint event is going to take place, and that's where you can try to get a Genesis PSB NFT for free. You can try to get on the whitelist by following events on Oath of Peaks Discord and Twitter accounts. They also do a lot of airdrops and giveaways to give early supporters an edge in the game. I've included the links in the video description below, so be sure to check it out. If you do have some funds lying around in your wallet, and you miss the free mint, there's still a great way to score a massive discount on one of these NFTs. And that's the pre-mint, where you can get a pretty hefty discount compared to the live mint. Make sure you're following their Twitter account and you're in their Discord, so you don't miss this date. Because once the pre-mint goes live, I've got a feeling these NFTs will go fast. Well, let me summarize today's video. Right now, the game is in closed beta, so once the game launches officially, which is on January 12th, it'll look very different. They're planning to add voiceovers, implement a lot of the feedback, and iron out any kinks. So on January 12th, you can try out this awesome game, and fully immerse yourself into the adventure of Oath of Peak. Yeeha Games plans to provide constant updates to improve the game users. In my opinion, the game is going to do really well. The game looks really cool, and for example my daughter said it looks like a Ginchen and she would love to play it. But this game has some very significant differences from the Ginchen, and here, unlike the Ginchen, you will actually own the assets that you have in the game. Which means, that you are free to use them in the game, 
and you can also trade them on the open market. That's all, I just wanted to add, that none of this is financial advice. All decisions you make are yours alone, so make sure to do more. I only do reviews of projects, and do not take any responsibility for any loss of funds, so never invest what you're afraid to lose. All in all have fun, and enjoy Oath of Peak, bye.